Suppose that the sitting back to knee length for a group of adults has a normal distribution with a mean of mu equal to 23.7 inches and a standard deviation of sigma equal to 1.1 inches. These data are often used in the design of different seats, including aircraft seats, train seats, theater seats, and classroom seats. Instead of using 0.05 for identifying significant values, use the criteria that a value x is significantly high if the probability of x or greater is less than or equal to 0.01 and a value is significantly low if the probability of x or less is less than or equal to 0.01. Find the back to knee lengths separating significant values from those that are not significant. Using these criteria, is a back to knee length of 25.9 inches significantly high? So the first thing that we will do is find those cutoff points for what is significantly low and what is significantly high. So we will click question help and then stat crunch. Then we'll click stat, calculators, normal. We're told that the mean is 23.7 inches and the standard deviation is 1.1. So we'll enter 23.7 for the mean and 1.1 for the standard deviation. We want to know the cutoff point that would leave us with 0 0.01 in the left tail. So we will leave this at less than or equal to and click compute. That cutoff point would be 21.1 if we round to one decimal place as requested in the problem. Now to find the cutoff point to the right, we will make this say greater than and we will change this back to 0 0.01. Now click compute and we find that that cutoff point is 26.3 if we round to one decimal place. Using these criteria is a back to knee length of 25.9 inches significantly high. 25.9 is within this interval from 21.1 to 26.3. And so we would say that it is not significantly high because it is inside that range of values that are not considered significant. 